Today we're going to be taking a look at The Clown, the newest release from McFarlane Toys, The Bloody Clown. Uh, this one is going to be a doozy. Let's get into it. Alright, here's a comparison of the two boxes for both releases. As you can see, they both are just massive boxes. They're pretty heavy. I'd say they're probably uh, maybe a pound, a pound and a half almost. Um, I love the new coloring on the uh, newest release for the Bloody Clown. Um, the older release is fine. I do like it as well. The huge window boxes are something that McFarlane is kind of known for. Um, but I definitely am digging the red. It just looks so much more in your face. Alright, here's a back look at the rear of the packaging. Um, this art is definitely better than the original release. It just, I mean, it looks so good. Like, if you saw this in a store, you're like, man, I gotta have this. And obviously, I had to have it. So, <laughs> uh, it looks great. Uh, they did a fantastic job here. And this is the original release. As you can see, they are clearly uh, different. Much better job on the uh, newest release. Um, this one just looks, it looks fine, but, I mean, the newest one is just, they up the ante considerably. And as you can see, these boxes are so large, when you buy them, it's very hard to get one that does not have those uh, rips in the box. Luckily, the newest one, I got it right out of the packaging as they were releasing it in the store, so I didn't have to worry about that. Here is the UPC code for those interested. Alright, and what's an unboxing without a proper knife to do it with? As you can see, uh, opening this up on camera is not exactly easy, so I'm going to pause it and get them unpackaged completely. Alright, so this is everything you get in the packaging. Uh, it took a little bit to get everything out. Uh, <laughs> this is a heavy box, and those security tabs are really vicious if you don't know what you're doing. Highly recommend scissors when taking it apart. Alright, and of course you have your signature McFarland stand with the embossed emblem which you might need for this guy because he's heavy and we have his chainsaw i guess sword very rel reminiscent of a warhammer type weapon it's got some nice paint on it probably could use a little bit more on the handle area but it does look vicious this looks serious and we have his two additional hands which are beautifully done i mean this blood looks so rich and I know it sounds kind of creepy, but it looks so good. Um, it looks like he's literally been dunking his hands in pure blood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we have this bad boy. His fully loaded arsenal backpack, which is... I mean, it's like a full tank arsenal on his back. It's absolutely massive. We've got... Gatling guns, we've got rocket launchers, got more Gatling guns, got surface-to-air missiles. Uh, yeah, the clown is ready to throw down. And if you look, he has his trigger release right here, which you can hold, obviously. Really nice detail on that. Let me get in there if you guys can see. Um, I do like the paint on this. It is really good. I think uh, for some type of, for machinery like this, it, it really does the trick. This looks like a repurposed assault rifle on here, too. Wow. Um, yeah, the paint on this looks really good. They did an excellent job here with the details. I am very impressed with this piece. I'm sure under the right lighting, it really will shine as well. Um, the plastic is pretty hard. I would say it weighs probably less than a pound, uh, maybe half a pound for those interested. And now for the clown himself. This is an absolute beauty of a piece. The sculpting detail in the face, the teeth, the paint is so clean everywhere. You can see just the dry brushing on the belt here just looks beautiful. The blood apps, they look smeared. I mean, this is a definitely a standout piece, um, and it's not a lazy rehash like some people were thinking it was going to be. Um, but I think it looks absolutely awesome. I, f I felt like they could have added a piece in the box to cover this up if you didn't want to display him with the uh, shoulder mount to the uh, arsenal, but that's not really a huge deal. I mean, you're not going to die. Um, yeah, just absolutely beautiful piece. The articulation, if we can go over that real quick, 
He's got uh, double jointed arms, I believe. Yes, he does. Well, actually, no, they're single. Excuse me. Uh, wrist swivel all the way to wrist swivel, and it bends back and forth. We've got a head that can turn all the way around, because what would a clown be if he couldn't turn his head all the way around? Um, his legs are very articulate. He can almost kick. <laughs> he can, he okay. Um, and he's got a toe bend, and his ankle rocker is, uh, it seems non-existent, but he does have some flex, which is good. Um, yeah, this is a very beautiful piece. I mean, for such an ugly and grotesque character, uh, he's very reminiscent of the John Leguizamo, uh, iteration of the character from the movie. I think he definitely bears a strong resemblance to that particular depiction. Uh, yeah, this is a beaut of a piece. You can see just all the pock marks and just the menacing face. Um, this is definitely, oh, and you can see the zippers are painted too, which is a nice touch. Um, let's see. And then his belt, if you can see, I think I can flex him so you guys can see. He kind of has a nice, he has no ab crunch, but he does have like a waist swivel, which is pretty nice. And he stands surprisingly pretty well. Oh, I spoke too soon. There, he stands pretty good. <laughs> Actually, if you get him situated right, he stands really well. All right, here he is with his alternate hands. They look great. Uh, they really, the light picks him up pretty well. You guys can get a closer look at the detail there. Excellent, excellent. They just look caked in blood like he was just, I don't know what he was doing, but it wasn't good obviously so the two right hands are a little bit different these is for holding the uh, backpack arsenal controls or the the uh, trigger um, they do look they do look similar but they're slightly different the sculpt is slightly different as you can see and his left hand is for holding his melee weapon his chainsaw sword very Warhammer esque his diaper is very flush with the pattern uh, connecting him to his lower half, so it looks pretty seamless. I, I like the job they did here. And as far as sitting, he's not going to be much of a sitter, but he does, his legs do have a nice bend to them. Eh. Well, yeah, you might have to add a little heat, but um, overall, it's, it's a pretty uh, functional and articulate figure, despite his bulky appearance. This is such a big accessory, I cannot almost, I can't even fit it into frame almost, it's just so big. Believe it or not, this is different from the original release. They've added completely new weapons for the most, let's get this on him and display, give me one sec. Okay, so here he is, fully loaded, fully tricked out, ready for battle. Now, this figure is extremely heavy and extremely top heavy, I've, as you can see obviously. I cannot get him to stand up on his own at all, I've tried... This is definitely going to require some additional stand support, um, something with back support for sure, because he is just so back heavy. Alright, let's go through some quick size comparisons to other figures so you can kind of get an idea of the scale. Alright, so here he is next to the Mattel DKR Armored Batman. Here he is next to the Diamond Selects Dr. Ford Westworld character, which is about 6 inches. Uh, six and a half inches. They're both about six and a half inches. And then here he is next to Pinhead, uh, Hellraiser Pinhead, which is about seven inches tall. So as you can see, he is quite a stumpy fella. Oh my gosh, I got him to stand up. You have to lean him forward quite a bit to do it, but he does stand. <laughs> okay, he definitely does stand. All right, and here he is next to uh, Damian Wayne, and here he is next to the McFarlane Soul Crusher, so you can get a better idea of the scale between uh, other McFarlane figures. All in all, I think this is an excellent release. You know, some people may have complained because they reused the same assets, but I think they did enough with this figure to justify the re-release. Um, you've got the new weapon arsenal. The new bloody paint is just, it really does add an extra level of depth and character to the clown. And I definitely like this one uh, over the original. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy what you saw, please leave a like and a comment. And please stay tuned. Uh, I plan on doing these reviews a lot more regularly. Um, I just have so much to do. But stay locked and loaded. And I'll see you guys on the next one.